So in the last video, I was gonna tape all the axles like this together. And I found out that, that was a bad idea. And the reason why is because when I taped them together, I had a lot of wobble, I had a lot of drift. My wheels were not gonna stay straight. So I've got a different idea. And what I wanna do is I want to space these out and I'm going to create Truss elements. Any of you that were here last year, you know about truss bridges. And what we're going to do is we're going to connect these chassis members together using truss elements. Okay? And when we do that, hopefully we'll keep the wheels as they are and it will roll as such. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to take small paper clips and I'm going to have to take each side off. And I'm going to have to put the small paper clip in each chassis member. So <clears throat> I'm going to do that right quick. I'm just going to pull this out. All right. Now I have these members that you saw me cut off. And each one I'm going to put in a small clip. Okay. Paper clips and clips everywhere. This should be a lot of fun. Now you'll notice I'm trying to put the small end inside. What happens if I put the big end? So I put the small end on that one. I'm going to put the big end on this one. And my daughter Emily just joined us. Emma, say hello. Hello. I'm going to have to prize this out because I pushed it in too far. Okay. See, these are the challenges that you're going to run into. The very challenges that I'm having, you're going to face. That looks like a problem. But yeah. you're also going to learn. So look, right. I've got the ears sort of inward. That's going to help me frame up how I'm going to make the truss. And all the truss is there for is to stiffen up and stabilize. All right, go all of these chassis members okay so i've done it to one side oh okay. i did i did the big end i need to put the big end in first okay now i'm going to use these straws to help me brace it together and i'll show you how that's going to work here in just a second so the first thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to take take the flexible part off i don't want flexible i want stiff and rigid Cut them off, and what you're going to see me do in the next video is connect each one of these, each one of these paper clips that are on the end of my chassis members to the small truss elements. So stay tuned.